noticed when you buy one piece of electronics equipment, people like me try to load you up with extras. You're going to want a spare case for that and an external hard drive and a microwave oven. You really want a microwave oven just to be safe. One very profitable area for retailers can be cables. Just say Doris here wants to buy this television. I'd like to buy this television. Great! Well, you're going to need an HDMI cable. Let's go. And Doris, there are heaps to choose from! Uh, but uh, first let me explain what an HDMI cable does. Basically, it connects a source of data that could be a console or a DVD player or a computer to a display, in your case, a television. Think of it like a postman delivering mail from the post office to a house. Ah, I know what a f***ing cord is. OK. Um, OK, well, the first thing you'll notice about all these cables is that there's a huge difference in the price. This one here is from Amazon and will cost you just under $6, whereas this one from Harvey Norman will cost you just under $200. That's 3,000% more expensive. It is. So what's the difference? Well, nothing, really. Ah, oh, bugger! Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, well. I'm not really cut out for this job anyway. Grab the cheap cable and I'll explain. You see, Doris, some companies are quite modest about the features they claim for their cables. Key features! No features. But others, like Monster, make their cables sound pretty impressive. High definition for maximum realism and impact. Enjoy movies just like the director intended. You hear that? Just like the director intended. Oh, oh, before watching The Great Gatsby, what's the one thing you'd say to the audience? If you don't have... A $200 HDMI cable, then you can piss right off. And what about... High definition for maximum realism and impact. The only problem with the claim maximum realism and impact, aside from basically being gibberish, is that digital signals don't really work that way. With a digital signal, there's not really a spectrum of quality. Either the information arrives intact or it doesn't. So claims that a cable can offer maximum quality or maximum anything really are pretty bogus. That's close, but not strictly 100% true. Ugh, what are you doing here? I actually live in the ABC. I sleep under a pile of my own books inside the ABC shop. OK. Oh, hi, Doris. Now, the thing is, you're almost right. Digital signals don't fail in exactly the same way that analogue signals do, but they can still fail. Now, have you ever seen a TV do this? That's a digital signal failing. So what's that got to do with my cable? Not much, Doris. And that's where the cable companies are being a little bit sneaky. It's extremely rare, regardless of the cable, for a signal to fail under a distance of about two metres. Right. And for longer distances, you'll need to double check. But even then, it doesn't hurt to try a cheaper cable first. What's the story about this? Belly button fluff. Ah, belly button fluff is made up of a mixture of dead skin cells let's and fibres of let's clothing. Go, let's go. But this is all the So there you go. Next time someone like this tries to sell you an expensive cable, you now know where to tell them to plug it. <laughs> and cue the glitter. Great work, everyone. Now let's make sure people watch it with the right bloody cable.